Oh my God, I'm glad you clicked on this video. A man just walked in here with his family and he has a huge gash right down his arm. You're scheduled for surgery, doctor. I need you. It, you're the expert here, but let me really quick remind you of the basics. We've hooked up this state-of-the-art robot in the operating room. And if you type up, down, left, right, raise, or lower, you control the robot. All you need to do is staple this man's arm and we can get him right back home to his family. And I'm sure absolutely nothing else will happen to him during his stay in the hospital here. Uh, good luck. All right, so we're gonna take the, uh, Staples right there. You got it. Okay. I mean, hey, I'm really just happy to be here. I'm not going to lie. Ever since I got my medical degree at the Vry, that's <laughs> where, you know, I've been looking forward to being in an operating room. It seems like you guys are in line uh, for this. You guys can start lowering it down. Perfect. This is great. This is amazing. Wow, you guys are lined up pretty well there. If we lower a little bit further, then we can probably start stapling soon. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, you can staple for sure. Let's see. Oh! I think you guys got it. That's that's one of the three staples. I mean, you guys are the experts after all. Okay, now let's raise a little bit and put down a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> nice on the staple. You guys actually didn't make it to the skin there. I've been a little nervous for this. I think I already told you guys a little bit about my medical degree here. Still in process of getting it. They weren't really allowing me to get into any residencies. Um, I don't exactly know why. Oh. Is that another one? Per wow. All right. Looks like you pierced the skin right there. But yeah, like as I was saying, man, I, I, I know I'm venting in the operating room. It's kind of a problem that I have. That's what my last uh, professor told me. You know, during my white coat ceremony, uh, which I didn't get yet. But hey, you know, if you just wear a white shirt uh, with like four different uh, colors, that should be good. Oh, and you know what else should be good? If you staple now, I think that should be it for the sutures. There's no way. Did you just get the third one? Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. Hey, congratulations. I'm shocked. I'm sorry. That, that might be a little rude. I mean, you guys are clearly the experts and all. Let me take a look real quick. Wow. Oh, uh, you know what? You got the, the, the second two staples pretty well. You missed the first one. It's a little unfortunate here, but don't worry. I have a little bit of a patch that I can make to make sure that this stays together. Right, right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm the assistant here, right? I got to clean up the patient. So let me just patch that right up. Uh, nurse, nurse. Hey, you know, Brian, you're going to be just fine. So up, okay. Perfect. You're going to go right home to your family, man. Let's bring it out. Hey, good job, doctor. Hopefully we'll be able to operate again someday. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get my residency. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. You won't believe what just happened. This man's appendix is about to burst. Okay. We got him. Okay. Nurse, you got this. Get out, get out, get out. Whoa. Are you okay? Brian, Brian, Brian. Out of nowhere as we're bringing him to his family. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I told you I was still studying my appendectomies online. Uh, what do I do? We, what, what? Okay. Okay. Brian, you're going to be okay. I have a specialist here. Uh, Dr. Payne, Dr. Payne, can you come in? Okay. Oh, thank God. Thank God you're here. Yeah, I could not do this without Ready. you. Right, right, Dr. Payne, you're, you're, yes. you're a specialist mm -hmm. in appendectomies? Yes, so you're going to make an incision alongside here. You don't have to go in too deep, but we need to get it open. You're gonna reach inside, you're gonna pull out the inflamed appendix, and then we're just gonna throw that puppy in the trash. We don't need it no more. Okay, now I would do it. I really would, but I was up all night having sex, so oh. I'm quite tired. Well, I'm sorry, uh, that's, that's I did. We, we can get no. into that in just a second. No, I'm, it's I'm very fine. I'm curious just, uh, you know, about that. If you guys were sex havers, you'd understand, but <laughs> you just don't get it like I do, a yeah. sex haver. All uh, right. Yeah. Thank you, so, thank you, doctor, for, you're for welcome. your input. I, I, I just spit on my hands. Uh, that's and it's that's sanitary. Fine. It is an honor. So let's get the surgery going. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna judge. I'll step in here and there if I see anything go completely wrong, but. You are doing a very good job so far. You're about there as far as the left and right, maybe just going down and- Oh yeah, get right down yeah. in there. Oh, okay, all right. All They're right. about to make that incision. They're about to go all in, right. right? They're about to penetrate that skin. Yes. Oh, perfect. Lovely. Our patient here is still not put under. Is that something that you normally do during surgeries? No, not usually. What is pain but weakness leaving the body? So oh. at the end of the day, it really just makes the patient stronger in the end, and it really helps the healing process. Does that have anything in relation of like your actual, uh, um, like your actual, <laughs> wow, they're really, they're really, they're going really, in they're deep. really uh, going in deep on that. But that's really what you need to do. Puncturing sometimes. the body there. Yeah, that's you really need to go in deep. Yeah, they're really 
I know they're something really about going They're really grabbing that deep. skin. They're doing an excellent job. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh, very okay. good. They kind of got to the belly button here. Oh, they're making a second incision, looks like. So what would you say like that, being the specialist and all, having that one cut and then the second, what does that like do for the body here? That's just so the belly button doesn't bloom. We don't want the <laughs> belly button to bloom. Okay, wow. Looks like, yeah, I think that's perfect. I think that's I think really that's good. good. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, excellent well done. job, doctor. Very excellent well done. Excellent job. I think I'll clean this up real quick. Let me see what you can do. We really want to like cut like the skin yeah. here. And the ribbage and really is really just kind of, yeah, yeah. You really want to like get that. Tear it open. Yeah. Kind of like a Christmas gift. Yeah, yeah. So then you don't have that, yeah, blooming. Yeah, I want to take this really quick. Get it open. So would you say that you normally uh, clamp it to their crotch? Now, uh, a lot of the times I will, yeah, just because the sack has a uh, good holding. To it. Right, there's a lot of loose skin there, yes, so it exactly. like, makes sense. Okay. You Over. can just kind of clamp it on on the arm yeah. skin here. There we go. There we go. That's now perfect. That's wow, nice. now that, that is how you do it. Step two of the appendectomy. Um, chat, I mean, they already, you know, they know they're the expert here, you know? I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, rat you out, but, uh, it's doctor chat, you Do know, they, they did very, work very hard, oh, uh, I'm so for, sorry. That for was that title. of me. Right, yes. uh, I need to, I need to write that down. Doc. And now, uh, doctor chat, don't let anybody push you around like that. Doctor chat. For step two of this procedure, um, you're going to have a clamp. You're going to have two other commands. Grip and then release. You're going to, uh, grip the appendix and then, while while gripping the appendix, you're going to uh, move it into the trash. The floor's all yours, and we can't we can't wait to see what you can oh, do here. Wow. Are there any tips that you have to give uh, specifically with this part of the surgery? It is goopy. It's kind of slippery like a fish. And uh, the eyes on the appendix are looking really, really good oh. uh, so far. So. Yeah, I mean, it's really like you, you look into those appendix eyes. How, how can you not fall in love? Funny enough, it's how uh, my wife and I met. Oh, I was doing, really? uh, I was doing oh, an appendectomy. Oh, congratulations, Thank you way. so much. Uh, you know, I was doing an appendectomy on her, and, I, and I, I, I clamped it all out, and I looked into the eyes, and uh, believe it or not, this is a crazy yeah, story, okay, okay. winked at me uh, <laughs> during the surgery. No. It was so funny. That's so cute. Uh, let's go a little bit more to the right here so we can grab that tail. Doing very good. Yeah, they could probably grip it right about now and, and, and get it, you know? Yeah. I, I would say that that's probably it. I think it gripped oh. now. Okay, perfect. And that's wow. a firm grasp. Wow. Now look at the goop that we have here. This is a ripe appendix, all right? See how viscous it is? Oh. Oh. Here's the thing is the appendix does have to come out. I think if we can get chat just to to lower Dr. Chat. Doc, Dr. Chat, Dr. Chat. Uh, Doc. Doctor. If we can get Dr. Chat to lower just uh, just a bit here, release. And then again, do not ungrip after you've after you've gripped it. Hey, yeah, right there. there. Yeah, they go. can grip that right there. And Perfect. Grip that tail. They can grip it and then you guys gotta you guys gotta take it out of the body. Mm -hmm. Take it out of the body. Oh, nice. perfect. Okay, Very okay, good. okay. Now you want to go uh, probably down here, right? Just uh, down or up, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's, let's go down. Let's let's go. Uh, you know, let's go up. That's. <laughs> Listen. Listen. We <clears throat> all get nervous. It it's happens to everyone. Uh, you know, I get performance uh, anxiety all of the time with surgery. Uh, with yeah, with surgery, yeah. So now if you just grip it, you should be uh, well to, off. Yeah, I mean, that's what they say. If you, you grip it, you should be able to rip it. Oh, uh, wow. Incredible. Wow. You know, it's nice for the patient to be able to see what their appendix is looking like. Because I mean, this is yeah. a learning experience for them it, as exactly, well. Exactly, exactly. And like, uh, quite like your wife, right? You know, when your appendix weaked at you for the first time while doing an appendectomy. I mean, like, it's possible. Like, it's self-love. And she went... <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, we can release the appendix right now. That's great. Oh, and the appendix right is right there. here, right next to the front. Now that's... Oh, it's nice. Isn't, Isn't that, that wonderful? Cute? Oh my god! Oh my. <laughs> and it's looking like it's in great health. Hey, let me uh, take this uh, uh, appendix here. Oh wow! We're gonna um, take that and uh, put it in the safety bath. Isn't that right? Yeah, great job. And now we have to do something that they are pretty um, well versed with, and uh, do sutures. I would say two staples in here. Yes. Um, and I was uh, I was watching from the the viewing room earlier. They oh, did a you saw the, the previous fantastic surgery? job oh. with the sutures. Okay, uh, chat. I think. Uh, Dr. Chat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you stupid bitch. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Dr. Chat, please forgive me. I think now is a safe sty uh, time to uh, staple. I think they might have gotten it. Brian, Brian, you still with us? Right there. 
Wow. Oh, oh. Excellent. Excellent. Dr. Chai. Wonderful. Dr. Chai, you've done it again. Now, I see a lot of Nobel Peace Prizes in your future. Yo, can I just yeah. say? Well, we can end the surgery now here. Uh, this patient is uh, definitely going to be going back home to his family. I, I mean, that's... <laughs> maybe raise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we should uh, raise that a little bit. Yeah, you know, just raise. Dr. Payne, uh, thank you so much uh, for you. your help. I really do appreciate and, it. And uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you all so much. I, I really loved being here. Yeah. If you need any uh, residency, um, mm. you know, I'm looking for residency. With the residency. Yeah, with the residency. Just, Isn't like, that crazy? If you can let me like, like, know about that, that would be great. This guy here. That's just you know, <laughs> it's so I great. Could, yeah, uh, just, being around here. Uh, yeah. So my thank my, you so my much. Email, I'll see you later. All right. Wonderful. No, I think he got it. I think he got it. Nurse, uh, can we uh, uh, can we get Brian back home? Oh, perfect. Here we go. Let's move you over. Nurse, let's get them out of here. I hope to see you again one day. Have a great day, Dr. Chat. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's an emergency. It's an emergency. Get back in here. Oh, my dear Lord. Brian, Brian, you still with me? Let's get you back on here. I cannot believe it. We really don't want you exposed, nurse. Okay. Oh, you'll never believe what just happened. And there was a guy here had rabies. He was, he was rabid. There was foaming out the mouth. And he just leans over and just... Bites Brian's leg. He has a flesh eating bacteria right now. I, I'm not equipped to deal with this. I barely just did the appendectomy with you guys. Let me, uh, oh, oh God. Oh, it's already discolored. Dr. Hertz, can you, can you come in here? Dr. Hertz, please, please, Dr. Hello. Hertz. Please, I'm thank you. Oh my God, Dr. Hertz. Mr. Dr. Hertz, Hertz I... substitute teacher. Uh, I'm ready to do uh, the teaching of the leg. Dr. Hertz? Oh. Mr. Hertz, not a doctor. Substitute teacher. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Hertz. Mr. Uh, Hertz. So I am uh, Dr. Crow. Yes. Definitely Dr. Crow. Dr. Written it says right here. Doctor. It says doctor. That I teach you know. children how to spell. And that is how you spell doctor? I just need to double check. Mr. Hertz. -T -R. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Looks good to me. Okay. So patient right here. How do you do, Brian? Uh, yeah, good to meet you. He recently had an appendectomy, hence the gel. Um, uh, I did not know appendectomy. I know apple. A P P L E. Oh, apple. Oh, that's how you spell appendectomy. Teacher. Oh, thank you, thank you, Doctor Hertz. Um, uh, Mr. Hertz. Mr. Mr. Hertz. Mr. Hertz. Mr. Hertz. Mr. Hertz. Third grade through twelfth grade. Okay, thank you, for that. Great, great. Um, Brian here on the way out was uh, bitten by a guy with rabies and now has a flesh-eating bacteria to go along with it. Oh, how do you? How do we get rid of this? Well, back in my day when we had big toes, <laughs> you know, just like grandmother used to say, if you can't beat it, lose it. Oh, so oh. if we just slice it open like great pie, <laughs> we take. Well, how do you how do you spell it? P I E. Oh, oh, I an amputation. Oh. Okay, yes. So, uh, Dr. Hertz. Um, Mr. Oh. Hertz, substitute teacher. Sorry, third sorry. Grade let me, let me, let me, let me, Mr. Sir, is that how if you spell it? If we had big board, I could write. Oh. oh, okay. How do we perform the amputation? You get in here real quick. Bone saw. You go right in here. A M P. So, we really want to cut like right here. Right like, down the right. center. So, uh, Dr. Chat, in order to do this next surgery, you're going to take your saw Bone and you're saw. going to saw and then unsaw. Never been Let's in a doctor's Let's begin the room. amputate. What? Amputate. Oh. Oh, good. Well, oh they're, they're in position right now. Okay. So, this is a in good spot order to, to do, do that, this. right? You don't, you, you don't want to just keep lowering. You want to. Saw now. Now, um, oh. wow, wow, what a clean cut. That's just like the Thanksgiving turkey. So you say you do this often? No, I've never been here before. <laughs> oh, oh, really? No. Wait, so I'm curious, what are you doing in a hospital then? I thought you were a doctor, that's why I brought you in. Oh, no, I have very bad infected ingrown toenails. Oh, so Horrible. you're here for those? Yes. Okay, maybe we can amputate those afterwards. I think you just need a clip. Now this is good. <laughs> wow, this is great. You guys are really getting almost through. done with that leg. I'm uh, very impressed uh, with Dr. Chat. Oh, oh, we did it. This is very good. Oh my dear Lord. Now this guy around here, we don't need it anymore, right? If my ingrown toenail doesn't work out, I think this could work pretty well. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Yeah, just take the toenail, toenail tenorans plan. Oh, okay. Doctor, be good. Dr. Hertz, um, yeah, Mr. We, Hertz. We yeah, I was a substitute teacher, third grade street. Oh. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Hertz. I've got to go. I have a dinner party I, to go to at 6:30. We're going to book the Beppo. I feel like I need that leg well, though. 
It's yeah. so nice to meet you. Yeah, no, this is If great. you ever find yourself Miss, in third grade or twelfth grade or anywhere Mr. in between, Hertz, I don't know. You if let you can me know. Take that. You that's let like, me know I feel like if you ever need anything. Brian's, I'll teach you about Brian's the equator. Leg. I'll teach you how they do I, Christmas in the summer. I just, it's so I, different I, I, than Mr. when Mr. they do it in the winter. Mr. Hertz, the you, magic you can't take just, that. The magic is just not there. I just don't. I just like Mr. Hertz, please. It's so much better. Mr. Hertz, I don't like going to the beach on Christmas. I still don't know where that leg went, but you can get other medical equipment at Point Pro Dot Shop. I'm not joking. You, you can get an appendix there. Go to go to Point Pro Dot Shop. What? Brian, Brian, my guy. One leg gone. That's okay, right? But we have the other leg right here. Okay, we have the other. Um, we're gonna get you right home to your family. Nurse, nurse, uh, let's get in here. Trooper Brian, look at you go. Everything's going to be A-OK, -okay. trust me on that. Thank you so, so, so much. Well, Dr. Chat, I think we're, uh, we're gonna leave, so. All right, thank you. Oh, there's an emergency! Oh my God, dear Lord! Oh, Brian, stay with me! Stay with me, Brian! Stay with me! All right, we gotta get him back on this operating table. Oh, Jesus, I have no idea why, but this man has gone into heart failure! We need to perform on Brian. Uh, hello? Who are you? What are you doing here? What, hello? Uh, we're doing the shoot, the like photo shoot thing. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, what do you mean photo shoot? This is an operating theater. No, yeah, the photo shoot, I have the podcast Brain Leak. And like, it's not like a medical pod, I don't know why we made it like kind of medical themed. I'm so sorry, this man is like dying on the table. This is real, this isn't your podcast. They know about the podcast. They, they, yeah. who are, who is they? The doctor. Oh, Dr. Chat knows about the podcast? Yeah, You're saying, avid listener. What's your name? Um, Ethan. Ethan. Is streaming uh, uh, oh. guy, YouTube guy. Uh, yeah, uh, Brian is in a heart failure. Oh. Dare I say, I think we might need to do a heart transplant. Do you know anything about heart transplants? No. <laughs> but maybe I would, you know, if there was anyone out there with a subscription. <laughs> you said you don't know anything about heart transplants? No, but like, it's a heart. I'm pretty sure it's like... Okay, okay, that's like, that's a lot of... You could just like, go kind of like, in the middle. Okay. So let's do this heart transplant. Dr. Chat, um, you need to now cut the patient from top to bottom of the line. Do you think they're gonna cut through the heart? I yeah, mean, it the looks line, like... they're like kind of right on the line. So yeah, they're, they're, they're really doing like good. getting in there. It doesn't really matter because we're doing a transplant anyways. Uh... So it's like, you don't really care what happens to the old heart. Would you say it like scares you that they're like dragging the skin and no longer cutting? No, mostly because it's not my skin right so you don't and think so, it like, as long as it's, it's as long as it's not <laughs> happening to me then it's fine oh wow wow oh wow there's the oh. there's the heart oh my god i think they they got that's a, pretty a really, much it yeah they really got a good cut there i say that's a job well done i'm gonna need your help okay so i know you haven't done much doctor stuff help me out yeah in spreading open this uh brian and oh. really getting that heart here you know, yeah, just kind it's of like goopy. It the worst part of the surgery is clamping these down, you know, because uh, um, it's just it's so. Just... Uh, uh, yeah, just put just stuff it in there. You got a step two right here of the surgery. Uh, you kind of just like grab it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Like, yeah, I guess you could. Go over and then you go down and then you grip and then you. Like and then later you, rip, you just I guess. Yeah. like release it after. Wow, Should they're they're cool. right there, literally just like up and probably just lower up and as then well. Lower and then you just grab it. Do you think one day I'll get my residency? No. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Oh really? Oh. Um, it just doesn't seem like a feasible thing for you, and that's fine. Oh okay. It seems as if they've pierced the heart now. Um, wow. Well, that's fine though, because we're replacing it. Right? right. Yeah. Yeah. We're replacing the heart anyway, so they they can probably grip it. Oh, they're perfect. Okay. Oh. oh. Heart transplants are kind of like a gotcha game. It's like a crane game. And what a prize to get. You exactly. Know? You're getting a heart. Oh, oh, they're almost lower. Perfect. Okay, they're really right into that. That Oh, they're really right into it. The, they gripped it. Oh! oh! Wow, they got the heart out. Do we need to do any 
thing, like because it's a transplant. Yeah, right? it's a trans. It's a heart transplant. So we just took the the heart out, and, and yeah. then now we have to. We have to like put something in. Oh, we have to put the side. Oh, do we have another like heart? Yeah, I don't know if we have another heart here. I brought lunch. Um, oh, here, let me um take out the heart really quick. You okay. know, um, just need yeah. to. Wow, it is. It's kind of um, goopy. Here, let me um uh, take this heart, and I'll, I'll I'll you know I'll you know who really needs the heart anyways. Cool. So we'll we'll take the sandwich. I'll put this. Uh, right here, go and grab the sandwich here, uh, and put it into the patient. Perfect. Okay, they have it. They have it. That's awesome. great. That's great. Now you need to put it into the patient. Instead then, of dropping it in, I think, like, I think we just forcing like, it. Yeah, yeah, we just, like, lower it in. Wow, I mean, I, I wonder if this would even like fit into the uh, crevice. The heart here needs to like fold in, like sort of on itself. The the clamps that we put in here are, are definitely holding open. Yeah. I think we did a phenomenal job with we that. We did do a really, really good job. I think we've punctured the uh, um, heart here. You want to puncture the heart so then it like really integrates more with the body. You yeah. like really just like get that in there. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, they released it. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, if, if, if Dr. Chat knows and Dr. Chat knows, hey, congratulations. There's a doctor. You did it. Yes. Oh, perfect. This is great. That heart is really in there. It's good, it's I think. It's really in there. Wow. That's the end of that part of the surgery. Let me uh, uh, go in real quick. Really just take that. Um, yeah. Oh, you're going to be great, Brian. Brian is like just like a model person. Good. Let me let me check for a... I hear a heartbeat. That means the Brian! sandwich worked. Brian, you're going to live. Oh, that my God. That is so oh. good. Go here. Go here. I think we got our last part here. What do you do with a heart transplant? I think you just kind of like glue it up. You, I guess you kind of glue it up. Do you want to put some glue in like, there? I'll, I mean, if I'll you want to, some. you know, like I'm learning from a lot of people today. I just want to put this out there. Uh, if you do this like surgery, does that make you a doctor? Are you talking to me? I wasn't listening. Oh, let's uh, put some staples on here. Let's get this going. Oh. Okay, they're almost there. Uh, all they need to do pretty much right now is like staple. And then we're, we're, we all got one of the two staples here. They're right on the line too. And hey, thanks to your glue, I think it's gonna really help. Anyway. Oh, it's gonna seal up nice. Yeah, that's gonna seal great. Ooh, oh, wow. That was perfect. perfect. Oh, Yo, they stapled again. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that the last staple? Did they get I it? I think it is. Wow, right on the mark. Congratulations, Dr. Chat. Dr. Chat, you've done it! Dr. Chat, you performed an amazing surgery, and again, you looked gorgeous <laughs> while you were doing it. I just, like, want wow. to say. Wow, oh, give it here. Man. Oh, dude. Oh. Dude, we saved a life. We did. Brian, well, you're we did, yeah. just great. It's perfectly stapled. I, there's no... No. There's, it's actually there's no really, way that's coming That's apart. actually really good. It's really well done. <laughs> they know what they're doing, They know obviously. what they're doing. I mean, just, like, look at all of this. Let's get this guy back home to his family. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Put him down. Really, whoa, whoa. And then you want to drop him. Right? Perfect. Great job. Great job, Brian. Sick. All right. Man, I could not be more jealous of a man that is uh, as healthy as you. Thanks for having me, I guess. Dr. Chat, um, just keep doing what you do best. Um, and, you know, stay beautiful. I know you will. So, Great. Great, right, great job. Thank you so around. much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Yet again, another absolutely crazy surgery. At the end of the day, that patient is going to be really... Uh, you're not gonna believe what just happened! <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah!